please. Please say something. Diana. What? You're on my hand. Just stay calm, I'll dig you out. <clears throat> Your harmonizer's toast, but I gave you mine. There's not much energy to draw on. Did here. it work? Are they safe? I think so. He even gave him a cover. If they stick to the plan, they should be miles deep before another punches through. Good, good. You need to be gone when they do. Fat chance, old man. You're my lamp family, and I'm not leaving you in here. Damn it, why can't I move this thing? You're as stubborn as your grandmother. Please, it doesn't matter. It does. Well, you've been keeping secrets so long. It's hard to stop. There are things you have a right to know. We'll have time later. believed you had to confess your sins if you want to be forgiven. He never got the chance, but maybe this is mine. The earth was a true place when I left it. I was 32 when they recruited me. A bold and lucrative opportunity to be part of an expedition to an unexplored world. Fifty years ago now, Fifty years of living with the consequences of my choices. Fifty years since I damned us all. We were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down.
get some light in here. place you look. Somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 off 6 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. Indigenous creatures. 
<laughs> oh, buddy, you're gonna learn to take things Nevik tells you with a grain of salt. In fact, some days you might need a bucket of the stuff. You sound like Diaz. Hey, say what you will. She raised some valid questions. Yeah, sure, sure. You mean she planned out insane conspiracy theories every time you're trying to drink in peace? Why even work for a company if you accuse it of such things? Who's this Diaz? Sounds like a character. She's the one you're replacing. A contractor like you and I. Until she disappeared. Man, this supply drop's gonna come sooner. We, the very stale. And also the pornography. I bet Braddock's got... Oh, son of a bitch! What's happening up there? Have you, you been killed? No, I made it in one piece somehow. What now? Your environment suit is within umbilical range of my rig. You should be seeing extra tactical readouts. Minima, radar, loadout details, as long as you stay close to the rig. Tu me comprends? Good deal. Use your radar to see advancing enemies. Look now! Hey, Ruby. Pick up the glowing orange blood the animals leave behind. You will need it for later. Let's pass. See the problem. Give me a second. Nubi, know how to repair? First, you have to find the proper repair frequency. Yeah, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do it yourself. Huh. Okay, you're all set. Heads up. You got incoming. by fire. The rest of the trip to base camp was uneventful, but the calm didn't last for long. Look, you weren't her only for space. We all missed Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette, you know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though. I never said that. You didn't have to, you just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nefik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... <laughs> it's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Dr. Kovach. 
Glad to see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm-hmm. After Roman? Been some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. You really stepped up out there, huh? You must have a million questions. I uh, hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. No, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood? I to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Flows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics, all the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevek believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Well, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best without boundaries. Pete and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the Quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale, as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know, Bondi can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? was... I know everyone's excited about the supply drop, but no crowding this time. I see anyone near the inventory out of turn. I'm docking his next paycheck for time lost. Hello? Anybody home? be the new Jeanette. I guess. Call me Jim. Jim! Outstanding. Welcome to EDN3, Jim. The E stands for extreme. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. You want to point me in the direction of your boss? Oh, uh, Mr. Braddock? I think you'd have seen him already, but... Yeah. No, I mean the lead tech for this bay. I think they said her name was Gail. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know, I know, I hear it all the time, girl's name, shouldn't I be off looking for a date for junior prom? Dude, I understand you're concerned. Don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood, I read you. Listen, kid, Gail, how about we do the get to know you as while we work on putting my rig together? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, are you serious? Uh, yeah, 
Did we shift ahead in pieces? Now that I'm here, we can build it. Um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. Come again? It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. What finishing touches? Threw on some spring-loaded Kerna retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you'd think on an ice planet. Get it? Ice planet? Because the heat... Kid, went... listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, and this rig. Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two? You follow? That is my whole mess egg. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit, and I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first, you can't really say in the world anymore because you're on another planet. Sorry, just peppy. And? And secondly, okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? I promise you won't be sorry. Let go of my hand. Okay. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Take your time. I heard the whole hangar John about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the quartermaster, name's Bowers, but most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? All right, pal, take your time eyeballing the wares. I'll stay out of your hair. Quality hunting knife. Top of the line for up-close protection. Comes with a lifetime guarantee and unlimited free sharpening. Not that you'll need it. Now that's a sweet one. Pump action, nine shot capacity. Synthetic stock and forearm. She's ideal for your close quarters combat. Come back any time, eh? Yeah, nice meeting you, Birdie.
Have your recordings ready for upload 15 minutes prior or no guarantee. Don't disappoint your loved ones. Jim's heading out, so let's prep the rig, people! this though. Oh, you ready to try this? Dry treated hypertensile kern retractors. I like to call it the cockpit express. You got one on the front, one on the back. You just clip in, give the line a tug, shoot. And by shoot, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from 10 meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. Chief, Jim Payton here. You copy? Payton, is your rig online already? Yeah, looks like the kid here might know his stuff, but I'll know for sure after I take her out for a spin. That French fella still not back? Yes, the radio hasn't been responding to radio calls. Well, why don't I go have a look for him? I know where we parted ways, and he did save our butts just a little. Say no more, Payton. You got your first assignment. Good luck. decide that it's not weird to be having a one-way conversation with you. Not weird at all. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, oh, hey, I thought you might need some music up there to keep you sane, keep you thinking of home, so well, there's a playlist for me attached to this message. Hopefully it all magically works and you can play it as soon as your rig's up and running. Okay, that's it for now. Just let me know you got there at one piece, okay? Miss you already. Doesn't look good. Best to follow the trail. Coronas, this is Peyton. You still read me? Peyton, Coronas Actual. Copy you loud and clear. Any sign of LaRoche? Well, I found his rig back at, let's see, White Canyon Junction? Looks pretty beat up, but no trace of the man himself. Thanks for the update. Just keep looking. I know he's out there somewhere. Radic out. Hello? 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 LaRoche! 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 You out here? You out here? You out here? Over here! Over here. C'est des conneries. I had that crab out of its shell and ready to dip in butter. Then one foot sleeps over the ledge and my whole rig is on her back. Did you see what he did to her? Nothing that can't be fixed. You're lucky you got out with all your limbs. Ah, keep your perspective to yourself, rookie. Fight a few giant crab monsters of your own, then speak to me of luck. Fair enough. Guess we're even. We survive, then we keep score. Well, this is Peyton. I found your Frenchman. He's at a fueling depot near Watkins Pass. Oh, that's a relief. Sending out a rescue team now. Good work, Peyton. 
You should find your account credited with a search and rescue bonus. Uh, hold on. Peyton, you see here Watkins Pass? Your predecessor, Diaz, set up a thermal post nearby. It's been sitting full, wasting tea energy since she disappeared. Locate the post and tap it before you return. Just be careful. Acrid like to nest around untended thermal posts. Good luck.
Should do it.
Hey, uh, this is Corona's actual, requesting immediate assistance. Are you there? Copy. Uh, Corona's actual. Yeah, this is Peyton. I copy. What's going on? Peyton, get back to base ASAP. Head for a glass storm bearing down on us from blind sector north-northwest. ETA three minutes. We need you to secure the base moorings with your rig. We haven't had time to reinforce them since that last damn storm. You got the chance? Hightail it here or there won't be a base to come back to. Roger that, boss. Flying in. Peyton out. <sighs> Great freaking gig you got here, Jim. Get back to base immediately. 